Hi, everybody. Welcome to Queers and Soaps. I'm Tommy, and today I'm joined by Eric. Jailbird Alice. <laughs> today we are finally coming back to Days 1983. Um, these episodes that we're talking about, are, we watched three episodes. Um, dates unknown, but early December of 83. <laughs> <laughs> it's continuing, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'll roll the credits and we'll get right into it. So again, not the greatest audio quality. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my friend matt i sent him the episode so he could kind of like watch and like follow along with us and um he was like thank god for closed captioning and i was like oh yeah <laughs> i had to use closed captioning <laughs> and it's kind of funny like it, about 10 minutes in you kind of start hearing things like when you're reading it. your ears like adjust to it <laughs> yeah it adjust to it it's weird but it's still i don't like it no, like, <laughs> it was a little bit clearer um yeah, and there were things that were happening because I couldn't quite make out what they were saying or see because sometimes it's a little pixelated. Um, yeah. That I got my answers to later on from the conversations. I'm like, oh, that's what that was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, same. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so but that's why this might thought, help us understand these episodes because, you know, you get what I get, you know, whatever. Working yeah. out. So last we left off, <laughs> Roman is in, um, being held in jail for um, being the serial killer. Um, and <laughs> Bo and Alice are coming up with a plan to kind of break him out. Um, she had been baking donuts and she wouldn't let Tom taste it like she normally lets him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Anna's still holding a tape over Alex's head. The tape that she couldn't find still. The tape that she couldn't find, <laughs> which I didn't realize is what Alice found. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I did I did catch that because you know I've been looking for that fucking tape. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, how did the tape get there? It was under the kitchen table. <laughs> yeah, so when Alice <laughs> used Anna and said, Oh, I found a tape and left it on the kitchen table, I'm like, that's what she found. So that's what I mean, like things that happened there. I was like, oh, uh, that's what that was. <laughs> I knew it was the tape. I was I was like, Yes, yeah, that's the tape, but how did it get in the kitchen? But you also know I'm so uninterested in like Anna's story at this point that I was just like, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I don't know how. I feel like that and the Bo and Alice stuff are like the most interesting thing. Um Marlena is just very upset that Roman's in jail. Um a lot of crying. <laughs> yeah, a lot of crying. Um, we actually didn't see a lot of Bo and Hope this week. We didn't see them till like the third episode, and even that was very limited. Well, I think Bo was in it. Yeah, Bo was in it. More than but Bo hope, and Bo and hope together were not in it. Yeah. Um, the earlier episodes, a lot of it um, focused around um, Melissa and Pete, which I found out through the dialogue that I could hear that they are at the Horton Farm, which I've never heard of in my life. <laughs> <laughs> the Horton Farm must go away in this month. <laughs> because you watched I heard of the Horton Cabin, which I know you need to take a ferry to get to, allegedly. <laughs> Yeah, what's the Horton Farm about? I don't know what the they Horton have, Farm is. Did they have cows and make their own milk and stuff? And did butter? they fall on hard times and have to sell the farm at some point? Like, I don't like <laughs> Yeah. I have questions. I, I know, right? It's so funny. <laughs> um, and this, I like Pete and Melissa, but I don't really like this the their beginnings. So this has kind of also got me uninterested. I was totally uninterested. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like they have like more, like, during this captivity sequence that he has her held at. She's not tied up, so she's not running yeah. away. She's, like, helping, <laughs> like, build a fire, get firewood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. It seems like every time they kind of have, like, a a soft moment where she's like, you're not so bad after all, he, like, has to, like, get all macho and be like, oh, I'll push you around. I'll rape you. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. Um, what? <laughs> yeah, that was weird. I was over that stuff, though. I've seen that so many times in shows, and I'm just like, I, you know how it's kind of going to go at that point. Yeah. Um, they get paid a visit by some officers um, who saw, like, they because of the storm, wanted to make sure everything was okay, but also saw a lot of footprints, and he was like, oh, yeah, Melissa was in hiding, which I don't know why. He didn't have her at gunpoint or anything. She could have screamed. Um, <laughs> right. 
uh, so she's hiding while he's talking to the cops at the door, and he's like, oh, yeah, no, that's just for me tracking back and forth, getting firewood. And they buy it. I'm like, these cops are so stupid. <laughs> like, if you're, like, if you have an all-points bulletin now, you should be searching places, not just being like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, and I feel like they should know who he is, because wasn't, like, the Viper's a big Yeah, he's been to jail. Guy. Like, he has a record. <laughs> <laughs> the Salem Police Department's not that big. <laughs> yeah, right? So, whatever. <laughs> also, okay, I know it's probably because in current days, they're all detectives, but, like, you notice how they're wearing uniforms? <laughs> and they don't wear uniforms anymore on the show. Mm -mm. I wonder when that changed. <laughs> yeah. Well, I vaguely remember Lonnie and Sean wearing uniforms when they were, like, beat cops. But then once they became detectives, when they helped on, like, a major case, they started just wearing, like, leather jackets and, like, their badge <laughs> on the <top>. yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> It didn't take much to become a detective. You just had to like solve one big case and they promoted you. <laughs> yeah. Um funny. But so the donuts. <laughs> I was really excited because I felt like big things happened with the story to move it forward. Yeah. Um it did. Alice, I wasn't quite sure what this was about. Don't press the button. Like Bo told her not to press the button. So I was like, hmm, I don't really know what that's about. Um Press what button? I don't remember that. So okay, so she she brought the donuts to the police department. Um, apparently, the commissioner or I don't know, like the rankings, the commander, whatever, whoever is above Abe, um, Alice has known. And from what I gathered from her conversation with Bo, his mother has been flirting with Tom for forty years, and she doesn't like his mother. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't even catch that. <laughs> um, so they have a conversation, and because she's like this little old lady at, with donuts, and Larry Welch <laughs> is there, he's like, "Yeah, we'll like all we'll go down there, and we'll like escort you to deliver these donuts." So she specifically gives certain donuts to each individual, so that Roman can get the chocolate one, which we know from our conversation last time with Bo. He's like, you really like the chocolate donut. <laughs> <laughs> well, they did have the flashback, too, to remind yeah. everybody. <laughs> I like how in the flashbacks back then, they just kind of made the edges a little blurry to make so you, you knew it was a flashback or a memory. <laughs> right. Well, be before they got to the police station, didn't steal, uh, Sandy stole a donut, too. <laughs> yeah, I don't care about Sandy. <laughs> I ah. <love> her. <laughs> but Alice like stopped her or whatever and was like, you can't have that. <laughs> right. um, like, how did the people get away with these donuts? Like stealing them and shit. They're also really big. <laughs> Those are like donut designer donuts. <laughs> yeah. Designer 1983 donuts. Well, according to um Alice, they are blue ribbon winning donuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so back um, at the jail. <laughs> so back at the jail. Um they everybody has their donut. Um Roman picks the one he's supposed to. They all are getting ready to leave him. And he almost immediately is feeling the effects. It looked like he was having a heart attack because he like grabbed his left arm. And um they all rush in there, they call an ambulance. Um he's kind of out of it. Um I wasn't really sure what was happening happening inside the ambulance. I saw so Bo was hiding in the ambulance. Yeah. And he was in a uniform. And I wasn't sure if he was hiding from the driver or if the driver was working with him. I was very confused about that. Um but what happened later on kind of made me think no that the driver didn't know what was going on in the back. Yeah, they didn't. <laughs> um so the ambulance comes, and this is where the whole pre don't press the button thing comes into play. Um, Alice's car stalls in front of the ambulance so that while Bo is in the back with Roman, he could remove the body. <laughs> right. Um, the button was so that the car would start. <laughs> the button that he would that she was supposed to press. Oh, um, yeah. So she didn't want him to start the car. Because I was like, what What does this button do? And then when she pressed it, the car started. <laughs> so that's what that was. Gotcha. <laughs> um, so Bo gets Roman wherever he's supposed to be. I don't know where. They didn't really show that part. But he yeah. immediately sneaks back to that cafe that everybody hangs out at to make it look like he has an alibi that he's been there all night. Yeah, that was funny. 
Um, and when they get news that something happened to Roman, you know, he pretends that he doesn't know. He's like, oh my God, what's going on with Roman? <laughs> yeah. Um, and he gets asked to come down to the police department for questioning because that's his brother and everything looks suspicious. <laughs> Um, be, oh, be, this ha that happens because um, when they get to the hospital and they open the back, the the one of the ambulance or EMTs is, is knocked out. I guess that's how Bo got the um, uniform. <laughs> and yeah. there's no Roman. <laughs> yeah. So, of course, Marlene is distressed. She's like, he's sick. Because they saw that he had the physical effects of whatever was happening to him. Right. So she's worried that he's like dying somewhere. Never mind that he escaped a murder charge. Um, well, be before Bo goes to the station, now doesn't have to do with that Anna storyline as well. Right, he sees Anna. Too. Um, is Anna leaving town, or she's trying to leave town, and she wants Bo to take her to the airport or something? No, she wants Bo to meet with um Alex because she knows Alex is going to try to kill her. Oh, so she that's what I got supposed to be like her bodyguard or something. Yeah, she wanted him to be there just kind of like for support, oh, but she didn't like she didn't really tell him the situation. Like she's right. just like, I'll give you two thousand dollars if you do this. And he's like, Well, I can't pass up two thousand bucks for just being right. there <laughs> right. for twenty minutes. Because she's right. like, it'll only be like twenty minutes. She wanted to meet him for the money because that's what holds Bo from going there because he ends up going to um so he's supposed to well Anna's supposed to meet up with Alex, and then uh, Bo gets taken away by the cops for questioning, so then Bo can't be there when Anna goes, and then she's kind of in danger now. Right, and she drops Carrie off at Marlena's. Yeah, yeah. Um, Eugene is there trying to, like, distract Marlena and keep her spirits up, and takes her for a ride in his taxi cab. <laughs> <laughs> now, I was confused with something. So later on, when, when like, Marlena calms down, Mm -hmm. So was it after she talked to Bo? Like, cause Bo, remember Bo was like, "It'll be okay." Mm -hmm. Like, I wonder if like, did she get like the hint that he had Roman? You think? Because remember her her like tune changed in like the third episode. She was like a lot calmer. Like she's like Bo, like Roman's in good hands. Like she knew. Maybe that, but that's not something that I remember her knowing. So I don't know if she knew exactly, but because like it was just like her demeanor totally changed. She wasn't balling and crazy anymore. And I was like, I wonder if she knows. Like, because I know she talked to Bo, and Bo was like, "It'll be okay." Like he looked at her and was like, "So that's why I thought like maybe she knows that Bo's doing something to help Roman." We might get an answer to that closer to Christmas. Yeah, because oh, I geez. feel like at some point <laughs> she she knows that he's physically okay, but like right. The police still think that he's the murderer. Um, what else happened? Oh, well, they don't so, have any other. They don't have any other suspects, as right. far as now. So, because of the whole suspicious donut situation, um, <laughs> Alice gets pulled in for questioning. <laughs> and she she's like, I know my rights. I want my lawyer, and Mickey happens to be there, so she's like, I want to retain you as my lawyer, which also feels, you know. Conflict of interest, I, or whatever. I, I when I when she said that, I was like, "Oh man, Tommy will not be pleased <laughs> because he loses every case. <laughs> Anytime I've ever seen Mickey like do a case from when I started watching the show, he always loses. <laughs> <laughs> right? They always get custody or whatever the issue is. They always <laughs> and yet they keep hiring him. <laughs> I know. They just have to be like, listen, I know your family, but you're not really good at your job. Like, so we're just gonna go ask her. <laughs> Maybe you should do like real estate or something. <laughs> I don't know. Cause the, uh, I don't know if I trust them because the bank might foreclose on your house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so funny. He used to do a pro bono. Yeah, they got their money's worth. <laughs> <laughs> He's making money off of losing. <laughs> so the police, I guess, don't buy Pete's story, and they make a phone call to um, maybe Maggie, maybe Mickey. I feel like everybody kind of knows, but they're like, just relax, we're going to handle the situation. And, oh, Don tries to calm Mickey down, and um, Mickey's like, don't tell me what to do, because, you know, Mickey's not a fan that Maggie's with Don. 
Yeah. And he's he's also like, so he's doing the whole that's my daughter. Don't tell me what to do. Yeah. Um but anyway, so <laughs> the police swarm the cabin at on the farm <laughs> and they get custody of um Pete. And yeah. we get to see like a little like emotional reunion between Hope and Melissa. <laughs> well, before that, so like, wasn't there a part that he, did he hold a gun on her or something? He's like, remember, like you were saying, like he's like, oh, like I can rape you or whatever, like like yeah. that. But then he hold a gun on her at one point too. She's like, you won't do it. <laughs> She's like, You're... I remember that part. Too. That sounds familiar. I don't remember a gun. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it was a knife. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe it was a knife. If that would make more sense. She's like, you won't do it. I just thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> right. But come on. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Melissa saved. Yay. Yeah, there was a, an emotional reunion hug of, between her and Hope. Yeah. Hope was like really distraught all of a sudden. Like the minute she saw her, she was like. <laughs> <laughs> well, she was married. They were looking for her. So, but she just hasn't been on in those few episodes. Right. Uh, we didn't see Doug and Julie this week. Well, these three Wait. episodes. You know what I like about these these stories, though? Like, I feel like they, they're they more like umbrella stories. Like, I feel like, because Mickey and Maggie were looking for Melissa, and as well as, like, Alice dealing with the jail and going to Mickey. Like, I'm like, I like when stories interact like that, because mm -hmm. it doesn't happen too much anymore. It's like, they have their storyline, they have theirs, <laughs> they have theirs. Like, nobody yeah interacts like separate like as much as they used to like this it's kind of cool well, i did have that thought i was like wow i was like they're trying the roman just broke out of jail so they're trying to get him but also they're swarming the, the horton cabin i was like the police are very busy tonight like this is a lot of <laughs> <laughs> and there's only usually like two cops on the, on the like, on Alice. <laughs> right and then and and even with like the anna stuff like Bo was doing that like trying to get his brother out he's also involved with anna and then hope Co like it, there's like three different storylines that bows in you know what i mean like it's kind of cool like how yeah. they did that because i feel like a lot happened in these three episodes you know <laughs> like mm -hmm. the nowadays i don't know um alice is like refusing to answer questions because she's like insulted that they would think that <laughs> even though we know it's an insult and so they're like funny. oh they're gonna have to spend the night in jail and she's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, to like, un until we can post bail in the morning. And she's it's just like. Down. So um, then she tries to, I guess, like guilt them. She's like, are you going to handcuff me? <laughs> <laughs> and Abe's like, uh, that won't be necessary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she just keeps saying, I want my one phone call. I'm going to call. I need to make a phone call <laughs> because she wants to call Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I love when Tom talks to her. It's fun. Yeah. Um, and we see her in the jail cell and Tom comes to visit her. She's like, they took my wedding ring. She's like, I haven't taken my wedding ring off in like 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> it was good stuff for her. I'm sure Francis Reed had a good time with that storyline. Yeah, so I almost wondered because like the 80s definitely I think was a shift in how they wrote the show. It was more mm -hmm. grounded in like drama and reality back in like the 60s and 70s so yeah. i almost wonder if this was like the turn where she got to do more comedic stuff and adventure stuff because yeah. i mean i don't know i haven't watched any of her stories prior to this right um but i feel like her involvement <laughs> with Bo is what kind of spearheaded her being involved in all the the stuff that we saw in the 90s and early 2000s <laughs> Right, and that's what's good about Alice. She fights for what but she believes in. She know Roman didn't do it, and she was fighting for him, and I like that. Right. Um, Hope <laughs> questions um, Bo being so comfortable with calling her Mrs. H. So this must be the first time he refers to her as Mrs. H. Yeah. And I forgot I that, that that was his nickname for her. When I heard it, I was like, oh, wow, it's been so long since <laughs> I've heard that. <laughs> yeah. Even when they were married, he used to just call her Mrs. H. Um, so yeah, so Tom Tom is suspicious because he remembers like she wouldn't let him taste the donut batter or whatever, or a donut. <laughs> yeah. And he's like questioning, he's like, Alice. It's like very sitcom-y almost. <laughs> it's sitcom -y, but at the same time too, like they've been married forever and they know each other so well. So he knows like something's up. 
for sure. <laughs> he's like, like, I, I would never lie to you. I have never lied to you in all the years we've been together. <laughs> and he's like, Alex. <laughs> I know, <it> good. <laughs> um, let's see. Larry Welch didn't really do much except grandstand. Um, yeah, he wasn't doing much. So I have one part in the first episode. I wasn't sure if you caught this. So as as we said, we had to like read stuff. So I had. <laughs> Um, oh, I didn't uh, have the closed captions on. I fought through it. I just like watched. And oh, I, was, like, <laughs> I had to. I had to. I had no choice. Like I wanted to know what they were saying. So, <laughs> so um, Carrie and Anna, when Anna goes to drop um, Carrie off at Marlena's, uh, Eugene says that she's acting rather poopy. <laughs> no, like, I don't. I don't know, and 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 I wasn't sure if he said poopy, because but it really sounded like poopy, and then like I'm like, would they say poopy back? Like I don't could remember. He said, like, here. Could he have said goofy? He could have, but it, he it sounded like poopy, and on the like when I read it, it said poopy. So, but like oh, maybe that was maybe, the, maybe that was their way of saying you're acting shitty, like <laughs> acting <laughs> shitty. <laughs> and maybe because as I'm like, I don't know. I just felt like that was a interesting thing because i don't think i've ever seen that in any any show that i've ever seen huh. but i thought that was funny um i guess we could talk a little oh so the first episode opened with alex in bed again with gwen no like, it was gwen and i was like yeah. is he with another hooker like i feel like we've opened so many episodes <laughs> with him in bed with a woman <laughs> and i knew that was gwen that time <laughs> I, I, it was a little gwen. Late. I was like I, so at first I was like, is this? I was like, oh, it's, it's Gwen. <laughs> I knew it was Gwen that time. And um, did you see he drank sorry, out of like, his shoe? There's like fire sirens going off. If you guys <laughs> I don't hear it. Um, He drank out of her shoe, which disgusted me. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. That was weird. Ew. He like took her coffee cup and like um poured some in a shoe and was drinking. Yeah, that was weird. Ew. <laughs> I was like, is that supposed to be sexy? Because it's not. Ew, know. it's disgusting. <laughs> like, what if she had corns and shit? Ooh. <laughs> Walking oh, in heels. So, an extension of the Alex story. Um, So, he has this spy who I can never remember his name. Is it Tyler? Ty. Ty. The guy that I know from, like, Dallas or something. He's been in some primetime soaps. Um, he's been a lot of soaps. Yeah. Um, so he's like spying on Anna and he hears the conversation between Anna and mm -hmm. Alice when they bump into each other at the cafe and she's like, oh, I found the tape you were looking for. I left a note. It's on the kitchen table. So then he starts following Anna, but he loses her and he meets up with Alex later and Alex says that he sent the guys to the house, but we didn't see that, right? We didn't see anybody like break into the house to get the tape or anything. No. Okay. So then I'm like, did that not happen because they lost Anna? <laughs> I guess, because Anna ended up getting the tape. Right. So, um, but they know that she's lying because they know that she was frantic looking for this tape and there isn't as many copies as she claims there are. So yeah, they, she didn't you know, if they can get their hands on this one tape, they're good. Right. And it seems like Alex is her. okay with her being eliminated permanently. And I'm like, hmm. Yeah. I don't really know Alex that well, but I didn't think he was that ruthless. I thought yeah. he kind of just kind of straddled the line of <laughs> criminal. <laughs> he wants um, her dead. But so, like we said, um, Bo is supposed to go with her to meet up with Alex, but he's late because of everything going on with Roman and Alice and jail and all that stuff. So she goes to the pier by herself, and she's like, "Come on, Bo, where are you?" And we see what looks like a crate falling from the sky that's gonna fall on her and that was yep. like the hanger and i was like oh that was a good way to end it keep us that was a, <laughs> that was a good way to end it because i was like oh my god but all the episodes seem to have cliffhangers because even the one where roman i think had the heart attack is how that episode ended and i was like oh that would have been a good place to stop also <laughs> <laughs> yeah there was a lot of good stuff i like it so will anna make it we Knowing that she's on the show forty years from now, the answer is <laughs> yes. <laughs> but maybe she, maybe she dies, or maybe she gets knocked out at least. <laughs> I don't know. Dies and comes back. It happens all the time, you know. Right. Um, 
We didn't see me. Uh, we did see Neil, but we didn't see we did. um, what's her name? Liz. Liz. We did not see Liz. No. But they talked about the wedding and all that stuff coming up. So that's probably going to be next week, I guess. Was something the, being like like show. fast track, like her release maybe? And they were because I I heard somebody say to her, she won't. You won't have to have a jailhouse wedding. Oh, uh, maybe. So maybe her release was being pushed up or something. Yeah, we'll probably see it in the next few episodes. Probably. Um, I think that was it, right? That's all the characters. There was a oh, scene of me and Sandy having coffee or lunch or whatever in the cafe. I didn't really care about that. We didn't see Chris so, Kostchuk. <laughs> I, I had when um, Anna and Tony saw each other. So they, were they married? Who? Anna and Tony. I don't think yet. I feel like they might have been because they talked about Renee breaking them up. They said Anna and Tony were married, and that's why they acted weird when they had that like meeting oh. in the kitchen or something. They said, um, I heard, that's what I heard. Because I was like, because I put, Anna and Tony don't seem to care for each other. And then like, as the conversation went on, it said that they had married and Renee had broken them up. So I was like, when did that happen? Because I thought Anna just came on in 82. So like, should she uh -huh. married for five minutes? <laughs> right. I have to, I'll have to look more into that. Because These must have been quick married. marriages. Because I feel like Liz was also married to Tony. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe she was involved with Tony. I don't know. It's very confusing. yeah. I'll, I'll especially like especially gonna attack because like he was on G General Hospital as we saw at the end of eighty one, and then he came on like a month or two later to Deus. So yeah, like, and that's okay. It would have had been so eighty two. So that's a lot of marriages in one year. <laughs> well, that's what um, Karen and I were talking about when he was Victor on General Hospital in that storyline. So we wrapped up where we don't see Victor anymore. So I don't know if Victor ends up going to this wedding, to Luke and Laura's wedding with um, like Helena. I don't know if he's involved anymore or if he just went to Days of Our Lives right after that. Right. So I, I, I don't know. Or if there was even a recast Victor. I have no idea. So. Right. Curious to see on every end <laughs> how this works out. <laughs> because uh, yeah, that was eighty one was the Salem stalker story, right? Yes. And Teo Penglis went right to days pretty much when he wrapped that. Because mm -hmm. he wrapped that we he wrapped that in September of eighty one. So he literally probably I went think, to days the next week. I think November of eighty yeah. of eighty one he went on. Yeah. Damn. Yep. He was hot that year. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so this is where I made note. I said, Anna says she's going to leave Salem. She got divorced from Tony. Okay. Crazy. Because like you said, like it's so quick. Right. Um, and I was reading the, no <laughs> the notes. I was trying to keep my eyes peeled now that Roman's escaped. For Nancy Lee Gron, because I had texted you, Matt said that she has like a quick appearance in these three episodes. Um, coming soon because it has to do oh, okay. around this time when he's like escaped, so we got to keep an eye out because I didn't see her in these three. I think he said she like hides out in the back seat of her car or something, so it's like a quick scene, so we got to keep an eye out for her. Maybe I'll clip it when we find it when we get there. <laughs> oh, Larry allowed, um. Oh, that's what Larry's storyline, I guess, because he let Alice go through with the donuts, right? So I guess he's trying to, like, because isn't he, like, up for, what is it, mayor, governor? I don't Senator know. or something. Yeah, some of that <laughs> shit. So I guess he's trying to make himself look good, and then he tries to cover it up, kind of, like, when she gets through with the... Well, he's right elected. now he's the district attorney. Right. But he wants to run for office, so that's going to be a storyline for him going forward. Yeah, I can tell that's what it's leading to, because he's like, didn't Abe like yell at him for something? Like, yeah. oh, you're just trying to be on the people's side and trying to whatever. Right. Um, just running through my notes to make sure we got it all. I mean, I think that was pretty much it. That, as far as like yeah. the big stories... Um, Pete gets on my nerves. Oh, we found out. Well, I guess we can say that. Like Pete, like went into like his history. Basically, got beat as a child. Melissa had her own traumatized situation as well. 
mm-hmm. which is why I met the adopted her, I guess. Yeah. Um, and I really wasn't interested in that storyline. Like, it was boring <laughs> to me. That was the painful story for me. <laughs> and it might be because I've seen it so many times. Like, it's in every single soap somebody's held in a cabin of some sort. And, like, it's the same situation. Yeah, I'm not a fan of, like, hostage situation storylines. Like, I yeah. used to be, but you now that, like, they all do it, so I'm like, hey, I'm over it. Yeah. It's, like, almost like there's no stakes because we know they're going to be okay. <laughs> right, right. But so yeah, I think that was it. Alice is still in jail. <laughs> yep, jailbird Alice. At least for the night. Um, and they really don't have a way of proving it because none of the other donuts had um poison or whatever it was in it. Right. They ate it. Well, yeah, and they don't have Roman to do the tests or anything. Right. right. So. So. That was a fast acting donut. They must have put a lot of shit in there because, like, he went. Oh, did have a line that things were going to happen quick, and they did. <laughs> <laughs> they really did. <laughs> so we talked about this for a half hour in these only three episodes. That's a lot. But yeah, I guess we could wrap this up. Oh, so I don't know if this was a thing when Jean was driving Marlena. Um, she thought she saw Roman, but it was yeah. a bum. Yeah. Or something like that. But was it Roman? Or do you think it was, uh, like, do you think that was a thing? Like, if, was it the fake Roman that's running around? Oh, I didn't even think about that. I just, I didn't even think of it as, like, a a detail. Or do you think, I just or you think she's she, just, she just thinks everybody she sees in the shadows is Roman. Is Roman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, if that were the case, then she didn't see Roman. I, think, I feel like she's still on edge. She just wants everybody to be Roman. <laughs> <laughs> right. She just wants to know that he's okay. <laughs> yeah. Um Eugene talked about No, it wasn't Eugene. Never mind. <laughs> he brought Trista up at some point. Um <laughs> didn't I think uh Mickey grabbed Pete at the um the police station too. And I put Marlena as mad at Pete. So I guess was Pete seeing Marlena? I guess. Maybe he maybe that was like maybe he got arrested and that was like part of the terms of his like parole or probation that he had to see a therapist. Because you know Marlena will see everybody. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Doesn't he like he says something bad either about cops or therapist or something like that that pissed Marlene off. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, wow, I've never seen her actually be mad at a patient. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't get pissed off easily. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I think that was pretty much it. Yeah, that's all I got. Alright, well, thank you for joining us for another edition of Days of Our Lives in 1983. As always, you can find us on all the socials at Queers and Soaps. And until next time, have a great night. Bye. Bye.